What's up guys, KS Kirali here and this is it. This is the first look of Pixel Experience ROM running on Redmi K20 Pro. It's bold, it's beautiful and it is incredible. The Pixel ROM for Redmi K20 Pro is currently available as unofficial builds which means they are not perfectly stable and you may face some bugs which could cause some real-time errors while using it as a daily driver. In this video, I will talk everything about this unofficial build which includes both pros and cons. Alright, so let's talk about the features which are working fine. First thing first guys, I have to admit this. The Pixel ROM on Redmi K20 Pro looks super stunning. So thanks to the Horizon AMOLED display, every single frame of the Pixel ROM running on Redmi K20 Pro is super impressive. I have never used any custom ROM on a phone with AMOLED display and trust me, you will addict to this ROM when it becomes official for sure without any doubt. By default, you will get the latest Pixel Launcher which works super fine without any issues. This ROM is bundled with Google applications which are pre-installed by default. Uh, this won't include a live wallpapers which I'm actually uh, super fancy about. It gives a more natural look to your device and these live wallpapers are sort of missing in this build. So just in case if you want to install it, so these live wallpapers you can always side load an APK file. And this ROM won't include a Pixel camera, you will get a stock camera which is utterly super worse. So I decided to side load the Pixel camera on my K20 Pro and guess what, it works super fine. Uh, thanks to the uh, Camera 2 API, the Pixel camera on Redmi K20 Pro works super fine. I have tested every single feature of this modded Pixel camera for K20 Pro and it's super impressive. You can take pictures, portraits, panoramas and you can even capture a video of max up to 1080p at 30 frames per second as of now. There is a no 4K option in this modded build unfortunately. Hopefully when it becomes official, we may see a 4K option. Also, I have noticed the uh, slow motion won't work as intended. Whenever I try to use this option, the Pixel camera simply shuts down without any warning. Apart from the Pixel camera, dark mode works super fine. You can enable this dark mode from the display setting. Here you can change the device theme to dark. And yeah, the whole system will adopt a dark theme. You can also change the accent color, which is actually super cool. Also inside the display setting, you will find an option called the colors. Uh, from here, you can set a different modes, which improve colors and saturation on AMOLED panels. I like to use this as saturation option, which actually looks super cool. This ROM also comes with a latest system font which is called a Google Sense. As you can see it is applied throughout the system which actually looks super impressive. In fact the Google is using this new font system wide in the upcoming release of Android Q. Now my favorite feature of this build is always on display. This works fine without any issues. Whenever you lock down your phone the always on display may pop up and shows the time date, weather information and notification badges of applications which is my favorite one. So this way you don't need to wake the device to glance at the time and notifications. Now some of the features which include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, LTE, VoLTE work fine without any issues. As of now the UPI based applications which include Google Pay, Phone Pay won't work at all. I ran a safety net check test and guess what the Redmi K20 Pro failed the test. Now let's talk about the downsides of this ROM as of now. Uh, the first thing I have noticed is night light it, which is sort of broken. Uh, when you enable it, it does work fine but if you try to modify any color profile from the color setting, you may notice the night light may become super glitchy. Now next, the main thing I have noticed on this build is the problem with the fingerprint sensor which may sometimes irritate a lot. We know that Redmi K20 Pro is having an in-display fingerprint sensor which undoubtedly a challenge for the developers to make it work properly. The fingerprint sensor is super glitchy as of now. It works as intended but sometimes it causes a problem. Well this won't uh, trouble you from unlocking your device. Of course you can unlock your K20 Pro with a fingerprint sensor without any issues but sometimes if you're on a call the fingerprint graph may pop up on the top of the end call button which is super annoying. Unfortunately I cannot uh, show on the camera but it may overlay while using your phone. Uh, keep in mind this is a bug which I have noticed which won't occur often but it is there. 
Of course, a face unlock works fine via smart lock, but it is not super good compared to a fingerprint unlocking. Another thing I have noticed on this build is a random screen frozen issues. Your phone will go to dead sleep, which means you cannot wake or unlock the device. This problem may occur sometimes and I got into trouble with this issue for a few times. To fix this kind of issue if you have, I mean just in case if you find this kind of issue, you need to hard reboot your phone. When it comes to performance, the Redmi K20 Pro shows its power thanks to the Snapdragon 855, even though the Pixel ROM is not super stable, but the Redmi K20 Pro handles it like a pro. It is super smooth, there are no issues at all in terms of performance, everything is super snappy, the applications and games may load as quick as you imagine, all of the transitions and animations are super smooth. When it comes to heavy games, I have played PUBG at HDR Extreme Mode, Guess what, there are no frame drops or lag which I have encountered at all. Uh, this presumes the performance is expected and it won't disappoint you at any cost. I ran a benchmarking applications like Geekbench and Tutu, and these are the scores which I got on my device. Lastly, when it comes to battery backup, I would say it's pretty dope. I get a 5 plus hours of SOT usage as of now. Uh, keep in mind, these statistics which I have shown is based on my usage. So the bottom line of the video, the official builds of Pixel ROM for K20 Pro is so close. As of now, it works fine and I don't recommend it using as a daily driver. So just wait for a few more weeks for the official build to come up. In fact, the developer of this ROM has published a K20 Pro on the official Pixel Experience website, which means we are so close to the official version of Pixel ROM for Redmi K20 Pro. Again, guys, if in case you want to try this build on your device, subscribe to this channel and I will post an installation video tomorrow on this channel. Stay tuned and yeah, don't forget to click on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And thanks for watching. This is your boy, KSK Royal. Peace.